get ready for a quick quest guide for the Cabin Fever quest, in which the main rewards for completing are access to Mossly Harmless and thus Cave Horrors and the Trouble Brewing minigame, you'll also have charter ship prices halved and gain the Little Book of Piracy which lets you communicate with many hard to understand pirates. Additionally, you'll gain 7,000 smithing, crafting and agility experience as well as two quest points. You will need to have completed both the rum deal and the pirate's treasure quest before taking on this one, and you'll also need to meet a couple of skill level requirements. This includes 40 ranged, 42 agility, 45 crafting and 50 smithing. Then when it comes to items, somewhat awesomely is that there is nothing that you will need. But there's a few things that I would recommend. Firstly, as you begin this quest in Port Phasmatis, having an Ecto file to get to the quest start if you've completed the Ghost Ahoy quest is very helpful. Otherwise, having some coins to take any charter ship to Port Phasmatis works as well, and 5,200 coins will cover the cost of the trip from any charter ship location. Also, bring along one super energy or stamina potion as you might fail a rope swing which will in turn drain your energy. Additionally, I would recommend and a few pieces of food and also some armor for tanking a couple of hits from aggressive level 57 pirates. Finally, you'll want to have around 14 empty inventory spots for when you start the quest. Having more will make your life a little bit easier though. Now you can begin this quest at the pub in Port Phasmatis. The easiest way to get here is by using an ecto file and running southeast into the city if you've completed the Ghost Ahoy quest. Or alternatively, you can pay a fare and catch any charter ship to Port Phasmatis and then run west to the pub. To start, talk to Bill Teach in the pub and after a long chat say, yes, I've always Always wanted to be a pirate. Then after a heap more chatter select yes to officially begin the quest. Next run out of the pub and run to the most eastern part of the docks. And after you arrive cross the gangplank onto the ship where you will find Bill Teach. Talk to Bill Teach and after a bit of dialogue say let's go captain. This then starts a cutscene whereby you'll be on a ship that's under attack and at risk of being sunk. It's a rather long cutscene and when it ends you'll be tasked with eliminating the enemy ship's cannon. Now just to the east of you will be a gun locker. Open it if it's closed and once open, choose to search it before clicking on the fuse to take it, which looks like a white rope. Then open the repair locker that's just to your southwest and search it before clicking on the rope four times to take four ropes. Afterwards, run a little south and pick up the tinderbox on the ground before then running north and climbing up the ship's ladder. Now a little bit south around the middle of the ship on the eastern side you should see a climbing net. Climb up this climbing net and then use your rope on the hoisted sail above you. This will start an agility obstacle whereby you'll fly across the ship to the pirate ship, but note that you can fail, which will see your run energy drained and also unequip anything that you're holding. If you fail the swing across then take a sip of your super energy potion so that you can run again. Once across the other side then one tile to your north will Will be a powder barrel. Use your fuse on the powder barrel to lay the fuse down and afterwards use your tinderbox on the fuse until it successfully sparks and destroys both the barrel and the nearby cannon and you should get a chat message confirming this. Now go slightly north and climb up the ship's climbing net before then using your rope on the hoisted sail which will once again see you leap across back to your boat as if it's an agility obstacle. Once you're across talk to Bill Teach nearby and he will now task you with repairing the holes in the ship. Climb down the ladder around the north of the ship and then run a little south before opening and searching the western repair locker. Here from the locker interface you will want to click on the hammer once to take one hammer, the tacks three times to take 30 tacks, the planks 3 times to take 6 planks, and the swamp paste 3 times to take 3 swamp paste. Once you have all of these, close the interface and click on each of the 3 holes and choose to fill the ship hull, and afterwards choose to waterproof the ship hull. Do these 2 interactions on each of the 3 holes where water is flowing into the ship, which will see it be fully repaired. After this is done, climb back up the ladder to the north of the ship and talk to Bill Teach before space barring through the chat, whereby he will now tell you to plunder the enemy ship. Once again, climb up the climbing net and then use one of your ropes on the hoisted sail above to swing back over to the enemy pirate ship. And after you arrive, climb down the ship's ladder that's just to your east. Once you're below deck, run all the way to the northernmost part of the ship. Then simply plunder the chest to your west, loot the crate to your north, and ransack the barrel to your east. This will net you 6 of the 10 plunder that you need. 
While you can wait for this to respawn, it's quicker to just hop worlds now to reset the plunder. And after you've hopped, then plunder the chest to your west and then ransack the barrel to your east to end up with a total of 10 plunder. Now go south on the ship and head back up the ship's ladder, before climbing the climbing net a little to your north and using your rope with the hoisted sail to swing back across to your ship. Now climb down the ladder around the north of the ship and once you're below deck run all the way south. Right click on the gold trimmed chest and select store plunder to place your plunder inside. And afterwards run north and climb the ladder to go back upstairs before talking to Bill Teach. He will then task you with repairing the cannon. Head back down the ladder to go below deck and then run a little south before opening and searching the eastern gun locker. Take a cannon barrel and then return up the ladder. Then select to repair the broken cannon that's around the middle of the ship and then once again chat to Bill Teach, who will now task you with blasting the enemy, which is kinda finicky. Return back below deck and again open and search the eastern gun locker. This time take three fuses, a single ramrod and three cannon canisters, before then returning up the ladder. Just south of the cannon is a powder barrel. Choose to take powder from the barrel to obtain gunpowder. Now use your gunpowder on the cannon and then then use your ramrod on the cannon to shove it down. Next use your canister on the cannon to pop it inside before finally using a fuse on the cannon to ready it for firing. Now look to the opposite side of the ship. And when you see pirates in the cannon's direct line of sight or pathway, then select to fire it. Ideally the blast will connect with a pirate and they'll die, or in my particular case I killed a rat. But either way you are looking for a game message that confirms that you hit the enemy. After you fire the shot, then importantly right click the cannon and select empty out to clean out the cannon, before then using your ramrod with the cannon to finish the cleaning out process. Your cannon needs to be cleaned out between each shot or else they have a high risk of breaking and dealing you around 5 damage. Now if by chance you missed, then you will need to restart the process that we just went through to fire another shot. Take your time and do the steps in the correct order so that you don't break the cannon. If a cannon breaks, then take a cannon barrel from the gun locker downstairs and use it to repair it. Once you manage to successfully hit the enemy crew, then go and talk to Bill Teach, and he will now tell you that it's time to sink the enemy ship. Next, return back down the ladder below deck and once again open and search the gun locker. Now take one cannon barrel for a repair backup and then stock up on fuses until you have a total of 5 before also taking 5 cannonballs. You can also drop any remaining canisters that you have as well as your broken cannon to free up some inventory space if needed. Once you have the supplies, return up the ladder and it's time to fire the cannon again. With the only difference being that now we're firing firing cannonballs rather than canisters. Firstly make sure that the cannon has been emptied out and that you've used your ramrod on it to complete the cleaning process. Then take powder from the powder barrel to obtain gunpowder and use it on the cannon. Afterwards use your ramrod on the cannon to shove it down. Next you'll want to use your cannonball on the cannon to place it inside, before then using your fuse on the cannon to get it ready for firing. Finally select to fire the cannon. After firing the cannon check your game chat messages to see if you failed or succeeded in placing a hole in the enemy ship. And very importantly choose to clean out the cannon and then use your ramrod on it to finish cleaning it. You will now need to repeat this process until you've managed to make 3 holes in the enemy ship. And yes, if you mess up the sequence or fail to clean out the cannon, then it will break upon firing. Again if it breaks you can repair it with a cannon barrel that can be grabbed from the gun locker. Note that sometimes you can successfully fire a cannon and still fail to damage the enemy ship, and it's best to monitor your game messages to see if a hit has been successful. After you manage to place 3 holes in the enemy ship, you will then automatically enter a cutscene with Bill Teach, and after the rather long cutscene you'll end up in a pub on Mostly Harmless before BAM! Quest complete. You'll be awarded access to Mostly Harmless and thus Cave Horrors and the Trouble Brewing minigame. You will also have Charter Ship Prices halved and gain the Little Book of Piracy, which lets you communicate with many hard to understand pirates. On top of this, you'll gain 7000 smithing, crafting, and agility experience, as well as 2 quest points. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next quest!